Hey guys, and today we'll be doing leaf rubbing art. You will need autumn leaves, three cardboard rectangles or squares, a roll of tin foil, some paper towel, a Pritt stick, black paint, and a paintbrush. Firstly, you need to gather a variety of autumn leaves in all different shapes and sizes. Here is a selection that I got. So you can see I've got some fern leaves, some oak leaves, sycamore tree leaves, and I'm not sure what the other ones are. So to start with, we're gonna get one out of your three cardboard, either rectangle or square pieces. This is gonna be your background. And at this point, I just want you to play around with different layouts that you might want to do. So I definitely want to use a fern leaf, so if you have a little look, I fiddle about and see how I want it to lay on my uh, backdrop first. Then when you're happy with where your leaves are going to sit, literally smother and when I say smother, I mean smother your piece of cardboard with Pritt stick. You can use PVA glue, and obviously it is stronger, but I do find uh, when I use PVA glue for this, that the, there are lumps of glue. And where there's lumps of glue, it ends up ripping the tin foil later on. So for that reason, I just stick to using Pritt stick. Your leaf isn't going to sit flat, but that's fine. It's going to be held in place in just a moment with the tin foil. But for the tin foil to stick to the card, you need it to be covered in glue. So now that my fern leaf is in position ready, some of it is stuck down, some of it hasn't, but that doesn't matter for now, I'm going to get a piece of tin foil. And the tin foil piece needs to be slightly bigger in all directions, so bigger than the width of your cardboard and bigger than the length of your cardboard too. Now lay your tin foil over your cardboard with your leaf in between the tin foil and the cardboard. And then you need to smooth down your tin foil as much as you can so it's smooth against the smooth cardboard. And then where the leaf is, or leaves, depending on how many you've used, you'll be able to feel the lumps and the bumps of the leaf through the tin foil. Once your tin foil is flat against the cardboard, you can start feeling for where all the bumpy bits are on your leaf or leaves. Um, so with this here, I'm going up the stem of the leaf first so I can feel where that is and so I can get a rough idea of the shape that I'm following. So I rub up the stem of the leaf and then I'm feeling around for where the, I don't know what you want to call these, needles, I guess they are kind of on a fern leaf, but you want to feel where the veins are on leaves and um, all the lumpy bumpy bits where you can rub and you rub in a circular motion. I hope this makes sense. You rub in a circular motion so that you're kind of embossing the, the foil. Just continue to rub the foil until you get as much detail as you can and you can tilt your piece of cardboard up to you so you can see if there's any more lumps that you've missed and you haven't rubbed along those lumps. This does take quite a while to do so just have a little bit of patience with this um, but it doesn't matter if you don't get every lumpy bumpy bit it's just try and get as many bits as you can because then you're going to get as much detail as possible. When you've finished getting all the little details of the leaf or leaves through your tin foil flip it over and then you're just going to glue the back of the cardboard and you're going to fold in the pieces of tin foil nice and tight against the cardboard so then you get some nice clean edges and it's nice and tidy.
on my next piece of cardboard I did another fern leaf to mirror my other one that I've just done but as you can see I'm still fiddling about with it you can see I tilt it up to see if there's any lumps and bumps that I've missed and I just continue smoothing until I'm happy with it but then I'm going to show you another different one on the next bit. So for my middle panel I was going to have another fern leaf but I decided to do a selection of leaves instead and you can see I lay them in a random composition um, just so it looks like they're randomly falling to the ground and I do face them so that the veins are more prominent on the side facing up because then you'll be able to feel these better through the tinfoil. So it's the same process as what I did for the fern leaf and the second one but I skipped through that one. Um, I just lay the tin foil over the whole piece of cardboard and then I feel for those stems straight away so I know where each leaf is. Uh, the top tip is to count how many leaves you have put on there otherwise you might miss one out and I know I've done that before. So I made sure that I could find four stems and then I worked along them to feel for the veins and for the edges of each leaf. You can skip through this clip if you like, if you're happy with what you've seen with the fern leaf. It was just a comparison to see how different leaves look and how the veins come through quite prominently. Do the same again, fold the foil over and secure it in place with glue. Hopefully you should have all three of your cardboard pieces covered by now. So you're ready to start painting. Here I am, being as resourceful as ever, realising that I haven't got a paint palette near me, so a leaf will do instead. Use either poster or acrylic black paint, it doesn't really matter. I've used poster paint at school and I've used acrylic paint at home. It works fine with both paints. So what you need to do is just cover the whole panel, well, all three panels, in this black paint. It's hard to explain how much paint you need for this. You don't want it to be too thick and you don't want it to be too thin that you can see so much foil. If you have a look at how I'm doing it, I'm doing it kind of in the middle. You can see some of the foil, which doesn't matter because that adds to the abstract effect that you're going to get at the end. It just finishes the look. And if the paint is too thick, it's going to take ages to dry to start with. And then when you go to rub off the paint uh, along the leaf areas, then it's going to come off in lumps rather than very lightly. Mine took about 20 to 25 minutes to dry. So this is a lesson that is doable within an hour. I have done it within an hour at school. Sadly, my camera decided to not film when I did the rubbing of this panel. Oh, I'm so frustrated. I did press record because it recorded the beginning bit and I have the end clip, as you can see here, but nothing in between. Not sure what happened, so I'll have to show you on the other panels um, how to do this technique. When you go to rub off some of the paint, it should be ever so slightly tacky not too tacky that it's going to pull off a lot of paint but just enough to make it slightly easier than if the paint was totally dry to rub off the paint scrunch your paper towel up into a ball the ones at school are so much better uh, the ones at home that I have in the kitchen are quite scratchy and didn't give the best of finishes compared to the ones that I've done at school but that's fine, it's all I had. And you're going to want to rub down the stem of each leaf very gently, just taking off the paint as you go. 
and then you're going to go in circular motions to feel for the other details try and go along the lines of the veins and go around the edges of the leaves you don't want to go across the whole panel otherwise it'll just rub off most of the paint so what i'm trying to say is just go along the areas where you know there is a leaf underneath oh leaf underneath <laughs> i'm so easily distracted anyway um what the idea is is that it will rub away any of the paint on the raised areas so then it will uh, provide a contrast against the dark background Hopefully you've understood this okay, I find it hard to explain this one and I think you need the visual guide to help you along with this one. You should have a modern looking triptych as your finished final piece and this can be lent against the wall or you can hang it up on the wall, add some string and some sellotape to the back and it looks great. If you enjoyed this video please like it and subscribe for more art lessons every week. See you next week for more Out with the Miss Burford.